Hey guys, Amanda here. Okay, so this is the first video um, of the DBT dialectical behavioral um, videos, related videos that I want to do. So I am going to start that and I'm just going to have a, like a lot of papers and stuff. So I'm just going to do like one thing at a time so I don't overload with information. So let's see. Okay. So basically it's just like, this is talking about what a dialect, dialectic is. Um, what does it mean? And this is out of a book by, uh, called Dialectics of Anxiety and Depression by Thomas Mara, PhD. So I'm just going to read through this. What is a dialectic? What does dialectical mean? Okay, well, I just want to say what it says here, because people can probably relate to this statement. I love you and I hate you, all at the same time. Dialectics. What is a dialectic? What does dialectical mean? So, people can probably relate to, I love you, I hate you, I hate you, leave me, I mean, don't leave me, whatever, you know, that whole thing. Okay. Essentially... Dialectics is the theory of how we reason with DBT. A dialect, a dialectic is when we have two thoughts, feelings, urges, etc. that are one, in conflict, two, are opposites, three, are contradictory, four, are competing, five, are black or white slash all or nothing. Uh, Dr. Mara describes a dialectic as one, a set of issues that demand different and incompatible responses. Two, an intentional, sorry, an internal debate you have with yourself. Three, not being wrong or bad that the dialectic set of needs and wants exists. Four, each side of the dialectic are equally important to you. Many of us with borderline personality disorder may recognize a key term that describes dialectics, black or white or all or nothing. Here are some examples of dialectics. One, you feel anxious. On the one hand, you want safety and on the other, you want to feel freedom. An example is if you have anxiety about going to a party. One part of you wants the safety of just staying at home with familiar surroundings and situations and the other part of you really wants to go to the party to feel the freedom of being in a new experience and having fun with new people. Two, you want to watch your weight but you also want to eat half of that chocolate cake. Three, you want your boyfriend to move out right now but another part of you desperately wants him to stay. According to Dr. Mara, DBT asks you to identify what are called dialectic failures, compromises you've made that generate anxiety and depression, and to move along the dialectic differently than before in order to increase your chance of feeling less anxious and depressed. It's helpful to have an image of a dialectic to understand the concept of moving along the spectrum. I'm sure a lot of us know the spectrum um, idea. But for those who don't, basically um, what it's showing here is a line with two arrows at the end, which means it's a continuum. It just keeps going. It never ends. So you have on one side, I have to keep my house sparkling clean at all times. On the far other side, I am lazy and a total slob and I don't feel like doing any housework. So it's either or that kind of thinking. What if one part of you felt like you needed to keep your house perfectly clean all of the time, but another part of you felt that you were a total slob and didn't feel like doing any housework? I'm sorry. Oh, I got in a car accident and I'm just very, very sore and stuff. Um, so, sorry. <laughs> I cracked my neck. <laughs> Bad habit. Don't start doing it. Have you ever had two completely opposing thoughts or feelings existing at the same time like this? For a lot of us, we can feel stopped in our tracks, completely frozen and indecisive. 
I know I felt like that a lot. It's like an everyday kind of thing. <laughs> but then I definitely have BPD, so I mean, you know, whatever. So how do we apply our DBT skills to help us find some balance? How in the world do we go about balancing two things that are contradictory or complete opposites? Um, sorry. Um, so the next time you experience a dialectical thought, feeling, idea, or urge, you can try the following. One, just notice. Observe what you are experiencing. Identify the two conflicting thoughts, feelings, ideas, etc. Two, notice your train of thought. Mindfully turn the mind toward your thought process. Three, realize that you can't have it both ways. The old saying is, you can't have your cake and eat it too. So if you eat your cake, you no longer have it. But if you have it, you have not eaten it. Four, make a decision. Follow through, notice how it goes, and use the experience to help with other paralyzing dialectics. DBT invites you to clearly identify the choices you are making, the compromises you're forming between competing desires, and to analyze the outcome of the choices. Um, so basically, write a spectrum, write a line, okay? Put this thought, whatever, on this side, and then over here, you know, the two opposing. And then when you do the last one that I just said, um, you know, just notice and that kind of thing, um, at, when you're, when, after you do that, try and put a line on that, um, a line going this way through the, the continuum line, okay, to see where you are. Because if you're way over here or way over here, that's all or nothing black and white kind of thinking. The idea is to kind of move on the spectrum. You know what I mean? Like, it's not always going to be this way, and it's not always going to be that way, but it's going to be a combination of both, and that's okay. So that's basically what that's saying. Um, okay, so doing that allows um, us to observe and document where we are with the dialectic and to help us discover which side we lean further toward. This can help with the ultimate task of decision making. Um, so what are some dialectics that you personally experience or have experienced? Has anything helped you to move past the conflict and make a decision? So that's a very good question. And you know what? I'm going to see if I can actually have an example for, uh, you know, think of an example for you guys. Um, and then you guys try it at home or try it with your counselor or whoever. Okay, so what are some dialectics that you personally experience or have experienced? Okay, so personally, um, for me, one is that I'm a good mother. Some, some days I think I'm a good mother, and then other days I think I'm a bad mother. And that's the actual thought I have in my head. I am a bad mother. Or... I am a good mother. And you see how I'm thinking I'm either or? That's not true. <laughs> so let's say I don't have anything to write with, but okay, so say this is the continuum. Okay, so on one hand, I have I'm a great mother. And on the other side, I have I am a terrible mother. So I'm going to stop and I'm going to notice that that thought process is either or. Okay. Um, so my train of thought. So, sorry. Um, so I'm identifying that the thought is, because this is a thought that I'm having, is I'm either good or bad as a parent. My train of thought is that I can either do this and then I'll be a great parent or I can either not do this or do this and then I'll be a bad parent based on the reaction or the experience that I have from whatever decision I make. So let's see, realize that I can't have it both ways. I can't be a great mother and be a bad mother. 
you know, it's, it's in between. I make decisions. Sometimes it works. Other times it blows up in my face. And other times it does both at the same time. But that doesn't mean I'm a bad mother. It doesn't mean I'm a perfect mother. It means that I'm a mother. I make choices. Raising kids is trial and error. <laughs> so, you know, um, so, and then four, make a decision, follow through. So, um, you know, realizing that I'm not perfect, but I'm not bad. I'm not bad. I'm not good. You know, I'm not either or. I am a parent and I do the best I can. So I'm falling somewhere on this line, which I'm going to say I'm about, I'm about in, you know, in the middle right now because I'm making decisions that are going to be helpful for my child. Um, and that is me making a good decision as a parent. However, it's a process. So it's on the spectrum. It's like our diagnoses, you know, the symptoms are all on a spectrum same idea. All right. So that is the first video of this. Um, and please, you know, check out this book. I haven't read the book. Like I said, this was just one of the, um, handouts that they gave us at the, at the partial program. So, um, and again, that book is called Dialectics of Anxiety and Depression by Thomas Marr, PhD. And I'll put the information down in the, um, description box. So you guys can um, have that for reference. All right, so uh, um, that's the end of this video. Um, I hope it was helpful in some way. Um, feel free to ask questions and whatnot. All right, well, I'm going to go, um, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.